Welcome, Magnificent Galactic Spirit. I am so glad you're here. I don't know, today's felt uh, pretty stressful. So on this Magnificent Worthy Wednesday, remember we're getting together every um, Mastery Monday, Worthy Wednesday, and Fulfilling Friday to spiral up our galactic spirit and not only evolve our personal consciousness, but to help in this great shift evolving consciousness consciousness for all mankind. So before we start, I feel like we, I know I personally need a little chill out, so I've got some tuning forks with me right now and a uh, crystal, which you know carries a highest vibrational frequency, not only in my auric field, but because there's no time and no space, I'm going to send these blessings and these wonderful vibrations out to you as well. This one tuning fork is to help ground our frequency and the smaller one is to raise our consciousness. So the blending of these two energies are going to uh, go into our auric field and because we are an electromagnetic torus, an energy field that comes out through the top of our head and circles back in 360 degrees like a sphere through the bottom of our feet and backwards the same way the earth's electromagnetic field i'm setting the intention that we are pulsing this not only me to you but us you me and we out into our, the consciousness and supporting universal galactic spirit to evolve at this great time and this great shift in humanity so Let's just do a little, quick little tune-up. I'm gonna get by the microphone. Let's do that once again, breathe in. I just got goosebumps. Immediate confirmation. It's how you know you're doing the right thing. Oh, I feel so much better. Oh, remember, I teach uh, stream of consciousness. What's ever supposed to come in is what I share with you, even though we do have an agenda today. Day number 11 of Eagle. You'll see Eagle on the screen with the dots and bars. One dot is one, a bar is five. One plus, one plus two bars right there is 11. So this is the 11th day of Eagle, the day that we are integrating our perceptions and our perceptive imagination. Einstein said, that the greatest creativity comes from imagination and Eagle teaches us how do we look at life um, from our physical dimension, our physical world, uh, how to see the unseen from broad perspectives as we soar through our daily experience and how do we see with a very eagle-eyed and focus. And that is what Eagle teaches us as we go through our lives. How do we see things from different perspectives when we have a problem? How do, how, how do we approach it from another way in order to solve it? How do we see the unseen with our uh, mental mind and our emotions as well as how can we travel into fifth dimensional consciousness, our spiritual self, into the Akashic records with uh, beyond what we know how and practicing seeing the unseen like we are doing in this eagle 13 day ascension we are practicing being able to see the unseen in greater spiritual realms with greater spiritual multi dimensions so i that shifted me and i wanted to say something else about the uh shifting time 
what I forgot so it'll you know everything always comes back but uh, so never worry about that let's talk about where we are today in our galactic Mayan astrology and remember I, I use the word astrology very very lightly I did a great compre a good comprehensive if you it, comprehensive introduction on magnetic Monday 11 days ago so I invite you to go look at that video because we are building this energy of the th of the 13 days so I'm just gonna pop up pop over to the PDF that I'm sharing with you every every 13 days I am sharing a PDF with you to show you how we are working around the wheel it happens to be very looks linear here but as you saw in the image um, right here everything is very circular so after we go through the 13 days we start again with another ascension which we're going to talk about briefly at the end of this little presentation as of this transmission because that's where we're starting on Friday with a new energy star let me just show you right there we're going to start with star and star is all about sensory awareness sensory beauty the Native Americans call it the beauty way um, expanding our sensory perceptions and truly from my experience of working with these energies for over 12 years probably starting in 1983 when I first started working with the Mayan calendar that how do we start seeing and experiencing our lives in greater multi-dimensional fifth dimensional a consciousness is we tap into senses that we didn't know that we had we see differently we hear differently we touch differently we taste differently in and we really push um, our senses during the um, next cycle I just jump forward a little bit so let's go back to where we are now we're in the circle of Eagle on the 12th day let's let's see where we are now remember you can get this PDF um, when you sign up with the link that is on this thread uh, it's uh, e learn spiral up you'll see it and we will send you the PDF with every new cycle so so just to refresh you we looked at the circle a few minutes ago around Eagle but you can also look at it as a spiral and that's why I call these energies spiral up because at the, day number one we started recognizing how we wanted to have greater perceptions and see the unseen in different ways that we had ever before and today we're in day number 11 which is all about integration and dissolving into wholeness so if you want to look at it in the traditional way there's there is the ascension for you in your in your PDF and we've already gone through the discovery phase the exploration and deepening phase we are in the last day of integration so here's the coolest part I like day number 11 a lot actually I love I love every day but I love day number 11 because it's like we're reaching the threshold we've gone through the cycle of compassionate action in order to see how we would like to experience and really started we've thought about how we are seeing things differently and day number 11 is all about cognizing or anchoring how you have determined how you want to see things what you've experienced over the past couple the past 11 days and now is the time to let go you don't have to think about it, any, it anymore if you if you've thought about it and worked on it and evolved your consciousness and deepened and explored and discovered look how we've gone backwards by the way we compress time here just dropped a nugget we're compressing and expanding time we'll talk about that in one of our lessons where we, re, we really go deep into the exploratory it's a nine-month program of rebirthing your new mind where, where one of the things I'm going to teach you is how to compress and tighten up time and that's kind of 
a way that you can time travel. That's a way that, um, using that word loosely, where you can um, put energies out into the universe and compress time so they manifest quicker for you and come back quicker for you, which is one of our main objectives in, as we practice galactic spirit in our physical reality, knowing that physical is supported by your emotions and mental and spiritual, spiritual multidimensional aspects of you as well. So day number 11, it's all about cognizing how you're, you're expanding your perception, seeing the unseen, anchoring these energies really, really deep within your consciousness, because what's happening here is if you've anchored, if you've cognized, you can let it go because it's already in there. You don't have to think about it anymore. And as you'll see, day, um, thir uh, Thursday is we're going to crystallize. So st start thinking about what you're going to think about tomorrow because you've integrated and, and, and cognized and anchored these energies into your consciousness today. Uh, on Thursday, you can crystallize them. And what does crystallize mean? It really says, how are you making thought and into the, how are you taking your thoughts and putting them in the crystal parts of your brain and your pineal gland? There's little crystals in there like a homing pigeon. How does a homing pigeon know to always come home because of the crystals in the brain? So we're crystallizing our experience into our brain in order to share it out into the world, to share it out in community, which is all about day number 12, where we're crystallizing these energies. And on day, on, we're, uh, on, um, Fulfilling Friday, yes, we're going to talk about the transcendence of how we can look at our perceptions a lot differently, but looking at the wheel, because we, because the day after, let me see, Friday, Saturday, 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 we move into... Here we're finishing the 13th day of Eagle. I'm just showing it to you on the wheel. See the dots and bars? And here's Eagle. It's kind of hard to do it backwards. There you go. Eagle and rolling ourselves into the last day of Eagle. And then we're going to start over again in Star. Remember we met, mentioned that at the beginning? So... So that is where we're going. But for now, just focus on cognizing how you're seeing perceptions so you can crystallize them tomorrow, get them in your consciousness forever and ever and ever and on this cycle, and share your expanded views and your expanded perceptions out with community. Because as you know, as you're evolving yourself, and I will say this over and over again, as you're exploring your birthrights, your divine inheritance that the Mayans left us to be unlocked at this time, it also supports the shift of consciousness on a global level, which is why the Mayans left these magnificent images and light-coded frequencies for us to unlock at this time. It's a two-way street. It's not only for our personal benefit in a physical, emotional, mental, and spiritual way, but it is day number 12 is all about Co having had cognized it to bring it out to support the shift in all humanity. So I just want to give you one other little piece. If you want to jump ahead, I left this the link in the broadcast is on the broadcast description as well. The concentrated energies. Here we are. The, you'll see it's in the same format. It's backwards, 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 backwards. That 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 energy, and these are the concentrated birthrights. Here is day number eleven, the concentrated birthright 
of um, of um, integrating integrating your eagle and integration. It's also known as the spectral energy. So this is spectral serpent. Serpent is all about how are you looking at integrating and cognizing these energies of eagle with life force and passion. So go for it. It's really, really juicy. Take advantage of this magnificent energy that it's like having the wind in your sails. Breathe that in. I have the wind at my sails. I am surrounded by the most creative imagination that my mind, body, emotion, and spirit can receive at this time with all my life force, serpent, the concentrated birthright, it's on your wheel. I put a little marker here, even though right now in this class we're just talking about the dots and bars, I want you to see the concentrated birthright right there of serpent into really cognizing the way you view and see the world. How do you view and see yourself in authenticity and awareness? By the way, another birthright goes deep tomorrow. Oh, this is so awesome. Tomorrow, I love the synchronicity of how the cycles work. Tomorrow, as we're crystallizing, I want to show you this again. I kind of went deep today. I wanted to keep it simple, but I don't think I did. So just lock these lock this information on how it works, um, how it works um, with the two cycles. Here are your, sp just to re review, here are your spiraling up the energies of eagle. And here are your concentrated energies of eagle. And today was serpent about your life force and passion. This is the concentrated. And I was about to say what was dropping in was how do you see yourself with different views? Letting go of ego, um, ego making friends with, this is World Bridger, this, the wheel inside. There's only two, three wheels here that are moving right next to Serpent. See the wheel? There's World Bridger. I'm just showing it to you in a different way because it's everything's a cycle. Seeing your shadow self, making friends with your shadow self, letting go of self-sabotage, surrendering to the greater force. Because remember, this is the crystal day, letting go, being in community, showing how you see the world from a broader perspective. Here's your life force in integration, in cognization, in anchoring, and moving almost to the end of this 13-day ascension with, with tomorrow's world bridger egoic freedom surrender uh, playing with your uh, playing and dancing with your shadow self and coming into greater awareness and on the last day which is uh, uh, fulfillment friday we'll talk about a little bit is how are you expressing that transcendence with your hands with your skills with your talents out into the world and on Friday, we're also going to talk about the new sequence of star. I just popped it in. New sequence of star. And you will be seeing this 
on Friday because we're going to start a new cycle of sensory beauty, radiance. How are you seeing, sensing, feeling, using all your senses in, in 3D because we're in 3D. But how are we starting to feel and experience them with greater awakenings and greater understandings? So that's all for today. Bright blessings to you. Um, we'll see you on Fulfillment Friday. And I'm so glad you're here and making this huge journey, not only for, for us personally, individually, but for us making the great shift in humanity. Bright blessings.